Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak Up the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. It's really, I mean, welcome back. It's been four or maybe five weeks since I last posted anything here on the channel, so it's really been a while. And yeah, <laughs> it's really seriously been a while. Right, so the last thing I I'm a mess. The last thing I posted was the house plants video, which I believe was in November. And I took a really, really long break. So, <laughs> we're kind of back into it, but not really. But let's, you know, let's talk about the, what I'm enjoying real quick. And then we'll talk about where I've been, what I've been up to. And also, wait, before we go there. Um, happy holidays. I hope things have been well. I, it's currently the 29th of December, 2019. So Christmas just ended. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you got to spend time with your family. If you know, the thing is here in the Philippines, it's a big, it's a, it's a season for big family reunions. So if you're into that kind of thing, I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't, hang in there. It's just until the start of the new year. Hang in there. You'll be fine. <laughs> I personally have just been, um. But for the past two, one for the past week, I've been on vacation leave from my job. I have another week of vacation leaves left, so mostly I've just been helping my mom prepare dinner and the Christmas midnight feast type of thing. I've also well, there's also construction going around in the house, so um, it's a bit busy. But we'll go into that later. So for now. The piece that we're drawing is Ereshkigal from Fate Grand Order. She was the Christmas servant for the NA server for 2019. So she was limited. So this piece is actually my catalyst drawing for her. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a joke slash ritual slash um, superstition, especially for Fate, that you're an artist and you like drawing fan art, you would draw fan art of the particular character that you want and it acts as a catalyst or like it draws them to your game and then maybe when you summon you get them. So that's the kind of thing this drawing is. We'll be using watercolors, well actually we'll just be using watercolors and the ink. But other than that, it's your typical watercolor fan art drawing. Yay! Okay, so where have I been? Right. So since I posted the house plants video, I remember saying that I really enjoyed this piece. Um, I really like the detail that I put into it, and it's something I might want to do in the future. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, the problem is after that, I really did not draw or do anything creative personally after that. So I did creative stuff for my job as I am a designer by trade, graphic designer, but I really didn't draw. I didn't pick up my sketchbook. I picked up my ideas notebook. It didn't do any spark for me. I tried finishing the Merlin fan art piece that I was working on since last, 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 last month. I couldn't finish it, and I even tried doing a sketch, but really, I, I just opened the page and just like closed the sketchbook again. So, I really hit a bit of a wall there. I, it might have been exhaustion because of the traffic. So, what usually would happen, like the plan was, even before, was that I would draw something after I come home from work. And then at the end of the week, by Friday or Saturday... I could finish the entire piece and I have a video up by Saturday or Sunday. Um, so for old viewers, I used to post like on Mondays regularly, I think. And then I started posting on Saturdays. And then I moved that to Sundays after I couldn't keep up with the Saturday schedule. And nowadays, especially the Christmas season, especially this year, um, sometimes it, it would take me three to three and a half hours to get home. So by the time I get home, I'm just 
plain exhausted, I would eat dinner and then just flop in bed and sleep. <laughs> so I really hit, I guess, burnout personally and my art got affected by that. I think also because I kind of lost sight of why I love drawing somewhat, a little bit. So drawing was my stress release. It It's an outlet and I guess I got a bit too conscious about what I draw and I started thinking about stuff like, oh, I'm doing too much fan art or oh, I'm doing too much watercolor or oh, I haven't done digital in a while. So I, I guess I put too much pressure on myself to not just keep doing the same thing, but I can't deny that I enjoy watercolor and it's my favorite medium. So I guess from now on, I'll just draw whatever I want to draw. I mean, that's the entire point. Any <sighs> whatever, we'll see what happens in 2020, to be honest. Because I, I am kind of getting the spark back since I did this electrical drawing. So the electrical drawing was the only piece I worked on after I did the houseplants video. And it did make me want to draw again. I mean, right now, I looked at my list of things I want to do in the near future. And I feel like I actually do want to do them. So I'm getting past the burnout art block stage-ish. Um, yeah, so I hope that continues. So I guess for now, it's not a commitment that I'll be able to post regularly again. We'll leave that up to fade for a little bit. Mainly just to keep... I guess I'll just post when I have something to post. That's basically it. It will still be on Sunday if I have something to post. If I don't post on a Sunday, then it just simply means I didn't do anything creative for that week. Or if, or I'm working on something that's taking much longer. But I do want to create buffer videos because I ran out. I seriously ran out of buffer videos. Which is sad, but still, I should make some. But yeah. Because I, I actually do want to put more time and detail and effort into my drawings. Which often takes a lot of time. But since I want to keep to the weekly schedule, I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to just pump it out. So, I I liked it. It, it was beneficial in the sense that it kept me drawing every week at the very least. So I never got rusty with my skills, but the cost, I guess, was I became a little bit of a slave to the schedule and having to put something out every Sunday or Saturday to the point it became a burden. So right now, because it, it's good. It's good to have the schedule because like it is forcing you to keep on drawing so that you're constantly improving. But right now, that's not what I need. I just need to enjoy it again, and then we'll start putting the pressure back on, I guess. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. I don't really have much plans for 2020. I just want to keep on drawing, I guess. I should make, speaking of which, I should make one of those art improvements over the past months, over the past year's thing. I haven't made one for 2020 yet, or for 2019, rather. <sighs> For now, let's leave the art block talk to the side and let's talk about Reshigal and this watercolor piece. So, and I'm going back to it. As I said, this was the only piece that kind of sparked me back into drawing something again or creating something again. And because it was a catalyst, and I really felt like I needed to make one if I wanted her to come. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it's like a superstition thing. It's a fun thing to do as part of a game community to make a drawing for this character because you want her to arrive in your game. And it's a, way, it's a fun way to interact. It's a fun way to participate. And I did this... Thing for Arthur Pendragon Saber. I've also I also did it for Merlin Caster, which I should have had finished by now, but nah, it's not gonna happen. I'm trying to finish it as soon as possible, but 
the earliest one that posted is 2020. I'm already at like 10 hours of footage and I'm not even done with it yet. Um, and I did one for Karna, though that didn't work that time. And I also, this is the fourth, fourth? Yeah, this is the fourth one for Erish Kigal. Yay! So what I wanted to do was just like to shine a light on her. That's just basically the concept. What I could have improved on on this piece was definitely the lighting um, and the shadow. It's definitely the shadows. Like I had the light coming from the top, but I did the lighting as if I would do normally if it was like a more spread out and even sort of lighting. So that's something that I could, I could improve upon. So the voice, this voiceover is actually pretty old. I mean, it's no, never mind. The voiceover is new, <laughs> rather. Uh, but the video is approximately a week old. No, it's eight to ten days old already. Because I had I drew this piece, like one. No, I finished this piece one one. You call that one day before the event started, and the event was around eight days long, I think, and it's already been. 10, 11 days, so the piece is a, more than a week old, but it's only now that I got into the video editing and voiceover process of it. So that's that. Oh well. <laughs> this is the thing I don't like about taking huge breaks. I get pretty rusty, so when I was doing this piece, the sketches were fine. Like, I was happy for the sketches and the thumbnailing of it, but when I got to transferring the idea to to the actual canvas, to the actual paper, I couldn't seem to get it right. I even had to turn the paper over and use the back side, which it's fine. It's the same for this particular paper, at least. At least. The front and the back are the same. But I had to use the back side of the paper to try and redraw it again because when I was doing the sketch, I just couldn't get it right at all. And even with the handling the watercolors themselves, like, they're drying on me. I'm not blending as smoothly as I used to. So that was a bit frustrating. <laughs> it's the reason why I wanted to keep on drawing at least once a week so that I don't, you know, have to deal with this. But alas, I had no choice. My brain decided it didn't want to cooperate. So here we are. Even right now, the voiceover is pretty messy. Like usually... I don't have a structure at all, but at least I keep a, a coherent thought. Now I just feel kind of awkward and grasping for straws about things to talk about, I guess. <laughs> Even the video editing, gosh, like that took me a while. So yeah, this is what I don't like about, you know, taking forced breaks. I have to relearn everything that I kind of forgot or kind of feel rusty at. Oh well. It's frustrating though, because I was doing another drawing for my friend and unfortunately my phone my phone's memory can no longer handle recording um art videos, so it did fill up a lot of space on my phone, mainly because of the games that I play, they're pretty heavy already, so they take up a lot of memory space. So I bought a webcam to just connect to my computer and it would serve as my main camera for this entire drawing process. Hopefully, it, it would provide better quality than the phone, even. But it was supposed to arrive today. It was supposed to arrive 29th, but, or at least, like, the tracking page on Lazada was saying, like, oh, it's been shipped out. It should arrive soon. Like, okay, I'll wait the entire day. It's, it's, it's already like 7, 8 p.m. It's still not here. It's probably not gonna arrive anymore. I hope they deliver it tomorrow, though I don't know if people are already on holiday or if they have enough manpower to deliver tomorrow. But they already had it out for delivery and they even they even tagged it at 2.30am as out for delivery, which, which is kind of weird, but uh, <laughs> I'm anticipating it so much. It's hilarious because my grandmother ordered something from Lazada and... It was a pretty big item. Like they had to use one of the more bigger trucks to get it here, or vans rather. So when the guy knocked, I was like, "Yeah, let's have the sure." Uh, and then they brought out this huge thing, and I'm like, "I just 
bought a camera. Why is it taller than me? <laughs> and they, they had to check, like, oh, is this the right name? Is this the right address? And then I remembered, oh, right, I got no. ordered this huge thing. So that, <laughs> that was an instant lockdown. <laughs> it was hilarious, though. But uh, I wish it was a camera, but. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of my fault. I did order it like 26th, I think. No, when did I order it? I think I, I ordered it Christmas time ish. Uh, so, definitely, the shipping companies are having a hard time accommodating all of the orders because A, Christmas time, B, the influx of orders are huge, and I. I know that because I work in an e-commerce system, so I know that it's tough during this season. But I really got my hopes up there. <laughs> I hope it rhymes tomorrow. I really want to use it already because I really I'm I'm getting the spark back, and I want to keep the momentum. <sighs> I somehow managed to fill in 17 minutes. I don't know how. Probably just babbling about my order. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like or subscribe if you do. I do a lot of watercolor. I do a lot of anime styled art. I sometimes do fan art. A lot of it, a lot of it is fate grand order actually. Um, yeah, just stay tuned if you enjoyed it. I can't promise a schedule just yet. But I'll try my best. So, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt for more, and I'll see you around.